Welcome to a video where uh, not too often do I let you guys in on my life or what's going on in my head. So I'm going to take the next course of the next two days doing various different tasks, answering various different questions so that you guys can get inside my head. This cold is not fucking off. So I reached out over Instagram and I got everybody to ask me a bunch of questions that they've been dying to ask get answered from me. And that is me answering them right now. So question number one, we're gonna start at the top. So I told you guys I was gonna be super honest and open and I feel like I just haven't been. The first question is by Eric. He actually asked a question that was super serious and dear to my heart. He says, do you take your orange juice in the morning with or without Paul? I don't drink orange juice. I'm sorry, man. I just feel like I lied to everybody. Like, I'm sorry. Austin Z said too, says, when is the next merch drop? You guys tell me down below. We've been so busy, packed with a bunch of other stuff that I have not put much thought into it. I'm not even gonna lie. I do wanna continue to do it, obviously. There's a lot of ideas in my brain about what we wanna do. Comments down below, give me ideas. What do you guys wanna see? Spencer Beatty says, this is a great question. What makes you keep going far as the business? What makes me keep going and what gets me up every day is the opportunities that I don't know that are gonna be coming up every day in business. And if you're constantly pushing the boundaries of business and putting, I believe, like that energy out there in the world of like, I wanna grow, I wanna get it, like I wanna do more, I wanna achieve more. There's always, always opportunity right around the corner and you never know when that's gonna be. I think that's the most exciting thing. You never know when that next big project's gonna hit, when that next you know person's gonna walk through the door that's gonna help you elevate your business to more success. Pretty much just not knowing what's coming next is what excites me the most. I also love the chaos. Love, love, love the chaos. I love the stress, uh, I love everything about it. I just talked about it in a podcast, my Con Expo podcast, just about the stress and like sleepless nights and just like I was dealing with my jaw being all jacked up because I was just sitting in bed grinding out of like pure anxiety, I guess. With that question leads us into perfectly this week's video sponsor. Once again, the team at BetterHelp has partnered up with our channel to sponsor the video. Getting through these times, getting through the winter, super stressful. I get these questions from so many people. How do you deal with stress? How do you deal with all these things? And the answer is no one can kind of deal with it on your own, which is where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp teams you up with licensed therapists to give you the best help that you can. First, you go to their site. You can do that by hitting the link down below. Answer a few questions and BetterHelp will link you up with a therapist that is best to suit your needs. The best part is you can do it from your phone, tablet, computer, wherever you are, or however you feel most comfortable. BetterHelp makes it so easy for you to actually connect with somebody. So easy that they'll actually connect you to somebody within 48 hours of registering. So thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring the video. Guys, let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can support you from the comfort of your own home. Make sure to head to the link that is shown right here on the screen or click on it in the link in my description or choose Kelmet Construction, our channel name, when you are registering and enjoy a special discount for your first month. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring the video. It ties in nicely to this conversation. Now back to more questions from impact excavating this is a dying question it says how do you pay yourself obviously obviously with money lol how do you determine your wage great question am i going to tell you guys how much money i made last year no i make enough money to live Owning your own business, especially in construction, is great because I drive a nice truck and my business can pay for that truck. The only thing I do want to mention is that, like, there are weeks where guys out in the field, you know, take home on paper more than the business owners. We are not the highest paid people. When you're growing your business, it is so capital heavy, meaning money. It's so money intensive. So let's say, let's pick a number. Let's say you do a job for $100,000 and you price that job at 17%. So you got $17,000 in profit. That's $17,000 in our current business goes towards paying off debt, machine loans, office expenses. It just goes towards overhead. 
because we've grown so much in the past three years. So I think in the next couple of years, possibly the business will start making the owners possibly a little bit more money, but I don't do it for that. I'm not in business to own a Lamborghini and a Rolls Royce and how much time away could I take away from the company vacation and, a, and on, on a yacht. Not my goal, not my plan, never has been, never will be. I do well for myself 100%. I'm not saying I don't, but I make a hell of a lot less than I think a lot of people do because we reinvest and put the money back into the business. I'm living great, I'm fine, please do not worry about Taylor. People always ask about YouTube. Let's clarify that. I make $0 a month off YouTube AdSense. YouTube does not pay me because we use copyright music. I make money through advertisements. We do that so that I can have a videographer slash content creator that makes the content that you guys see. I film and do the stuff. We have a guy behind the camera, Jake. He's not behind, literally behind the camera right now, but the ad revenue from that covers what we pay him. If we make money off merchandise and we profit off merchandise, but that's funny, he just texted me. It goes back into buying more merchandise, no money from AdSense, only from merchandise, the kind people like BetterHelp that sponsor these videos. Okay, happy Thursday morning. Uh, we are here leaving my house, heading into work, bunch of meetings today. Well, we got another question to answer for you guys. So, I really like this one. Nolan DeTama said, what's something you've always wanted to do but you have not done yet? Great question, Nolan. Thank you for asking that. The first thing that came to my mind, and I think it's the answer that I truthfully have to say, is a construction workwear brand. Really cool clothing, functional, people want to wear them, kind of has its own vibe. It's not necessarily trying to be like the new style, but more so maybe just like retro, vintage kind of high vis, but with a modern twist to it. I like the old school look of the old linesman's outfits and you know, the old just like patch kind of high vis. I love that stuff. I think it's super cool. So if I weren't living in the life I'm in now and maybe in the future, I would do that. That'd be super cool. This is a three day part of questions because I've just been trying to get everything all done up. Yeah, it's been busy over here, man. There is a lot of awesome projects coming up this year, but let's get through the last couple questions because I know people are dying to hear the answers for the questions they really want to hear. Daniel Grant says, are you hiring? The only position we're really hiring because things are slower in auto right now would be an estimator. In order to get more work, we need to price more work. And the current estimator might be helping out with something else that we kind of have going on as well too. So an estimator would be something that we're looking for. I love this question because it gives you guys a little more look into my personal life. Chris underscore zero one W says, do you want your kids to one day join the business or make their own path? I named my son Ken after my grandfather. <laughs> Listen, I'd be lying if I sat here and was like, I just want them to be happy. Like, I do want them to be happy, but I want them to be a part of the business, 100%. At the end of the day, they're going to do what they want to do. They will have that freedom to, I strongly believe that growing up, you know, my dad always was like, the business is, is key, the business is important. Our thing together was driving around, going to job sites, showing me everything. I think that if I show my kids that I don't come home every day from work being like, ugh, work or oh you know Monday like don't get me wrong there's there's days where you go home and you need a scotch I strongly believe that if I show them that blue collar work and owning a business and just blue collar industry in general can provide a great life for your family it's satisfying and fulfilling fills my cup up I think they will want to be a part of it so I do hope that they do want to be a part of it my daughter and my son my daughter's two and a half now my son eight months eight months old and you know maybe one of them goes to school because Kelly Construction could use a lawyer and an accountant so maybe they go to school and get that. They don't want to go to school and they like me and they just want to run the business and they got a good hang of it, then do that. But yeah, I hope so. How many trucks do you have and what one is your favorite? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, and then like eight pickup trucks or something like that, like a company wide. What one's my favorite? Probably our tandem. Like I love the our our 4900 SF, but our tandem is sweet. It was our first ever brand new truck we ever bought. It's a 2013 Western Star 4700 SB. Beautiful truck, DD13 motor in it. Love it. What do you take in a cup of Tim's? Black, baby. I drink my coffee black. 
Uh, I don't put anything in it. That's how you should drink coffee. That's how men drink coffee. Black. Jacob Helm says, what's the most effective way of paying off equipment in a timely manner? With machinery, and maybe you guys will learn something here. I know I'm still learning everything as well too. With machinery in your business, you can have two options. You can either have parts or payments. When the interest rates were super low and we were able to buy machinery at 0%, to 3%, anywhere in that range. We were financing the machinery because the money, it makes more sense for us to keep our money and borrow money at that percentage because that, they're just giving it away at that point. You need, obviously, to have the capital to have the work in order to make those payments. So 325 is, you know, like a $9,000 a month payment over four years. Um, we de typically do not stretch payments if we're financing something longer than four years. We've always been aggressive. Three years was kind of normally our max, but as we bought a bunch of other stuff, four years we've stretched some stuff too. But now that the interest rates are changing, uh, like our 336 you guys saw us buy, I will buy older equipment and necessarily not have payments on it and just replace parts. Because again, parts or payments, meaning used equipment or new equipment. New equipment doesn't break. If it does break, it's warranty, but you have a payment. Old equipment, no payment, it's paid for, but stuff's gonna break on it. And you gotta remember that. But the nice thing about parts and buying used equipment is that when the work stops, the parts stop. With payments, when the work stops, the payments keep going. So those are two things you really have to juggle. When things are slow, we still got payments. There's still stuff that's gotta be fed. But with used equipment that you can pay for that's older, when there's no work, they sit, you're really not stressing. This is a question everybody has been bugging me about. I guess maybe I've been avoiding the question. Emily Ratcliffe 15 says, why did you never buy the D5 that you told the guy and shook his hand that you were going to buy it? I'm an asshole. Um, no. Um, at the time, and this is not that long ago, uh, they're referring to a video where I drove down to New Hampshire and looked at a D5 and met up with these guys. They were awesome, super, super solid guys. The machine was super, super solid. Shook the guy's hand and I was like, I'm buying it. Don't sell it to anybody else. I said, well, if somebody comes along, obviously sell it, but I'll take it. And I did say that, but the fact of the matter is it ended up that I needed that money that I was setting aside to buy a dozer, you know, let's say I had $130,000. That money ended up needing to go back into our business in order to cash flow us because we had a couple clients that we were waiting on, you know, being paid for or, or just, you know, other stuff that the money needed to be allocated to. So that's where that went. So I just straight up put the money that I was going to buy for that and my business ended up needing that. And you have to prioritize stuff like that. I'm super old school and I do feel shitty shaking a guy's hand saying I'm gonna buy it. Full intentions of driving it. I wouldn't have driven eight hours to go look at this dozer if I had no intentions of buying it. But I, you need to prioritize stuff. And at the end of the day, it was like, well, I shook the guy's hand. Like either like I have payroll, source deductions. There was a bunch of stuff that was coming up in the business that week that I needed the money for. So that that's what happened with the D5. If it ends up, it's still for sale uh, as we get geared up. But right now my priorities changed and it was just something that we couldn't do. And that's my honest opinion on it. I feel like if I don't answer those questions, people are like, you're a shady guy. Well, no, I just needed to make sure that my employees had a place to come and work. So the money was allocated somewhere else. So that's what happened there. That's the T. All right, bonus question, because everybody's asking about the 336 and when it's gonna get painted and we have black equipment, why don't you blah, blah, blah. Justin Camage said, when is the 336 getting painted? Long story short, it's probably not. It's actually over at our pit. I got big news to talk about as well too. We're gonna be, we have a sand pit that we're gonna be using. I'm not saying where, I'm not saying who, I'm not saying all this because I don't wanna publicly put that out there because it's kind of like this nice little thing that we got going on, but we have access to a pit that we're gonna be using and drawing septic sand from, which is super Super huge. We actually had guys over there yesterday uh, clearing some land for a new chunk of section. We're gonna get the sand underneath it. But the 336 is there. It came back to the yard. We put some fresh paint on the counterweight. We cleaned it up. Our decals guys came over, sized it all up, sized the boom up, and we're gonna be putting our company decals on it, white on the boom, and our, our all of our stickers on it, our branding. But as far as painting it, I just, it being a slower year, uh, stuff being a little bit different, the money's just not there to pull out 30 thousand dollars to paint a 336 trust me would love to but I just don't have 30, like you gotta remember like that $30,000 would just be pure profit $30,000 that needs to be allocated somewhere else that I would be taking just to paint it. Am I saying it's never gonna get painted black? No, not saying that. But I think that maybe what we'll do from here on out is any kind of new kind of cool pieces, 
they like as a highlight or our 60th anniversary we'll get some black equipment or paint something black but that thing just needs to be out there making us money moving sand loading trucks getting stuff ready for the year we got coming up hopefully i answered a lot of you guys questions uh i tried to do a bit of stuff that maybe i've been avoiding a little bit of stuff the insights in my life insights in the business Things are good. Business this year is steady. We got guys working today. Um, we've just been kind of taking it week by week. The industry in Ottawa here is, it's slower. Half loads just came on, kind of a normal winter, but we got lots of awesome work lined up. We got a project a demolition in the city of Ottawa that we're gonna be showing in the next, probably the next video, it'll be on that. So things are awesome, things are busy. It's just getting to the point of like, okay, we're fired up, we're ready to go. Yeah, so thanks guys for tuning in. I wanted to let you guys know a little bit of stuff what was going on. I appreciate you. As always, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. But of course, I didn't forget to be guys a true page of the channel. I'll watch the entire videos to the very end, which is right now. And if you are one of those true patriots, I want you guys to comment down below. Answer my questions. Why are you commenting down below? Answer my questions. Well, we had a lot of people wanting to know a lot of stuff about what was going on with Ken White or me and everything. So if you guys watch the entire video to the very end, comment down below. Answer my questions. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next one. As always, take care.